Thanks a lot for bringing me along to your grandmother's house. Sure, Chester. You've been to Passover Seder dinners before, but never one like at our Bubby's. Uh-uh. I've never made a Seder plate before. Do we have everything that we need? Yeah, but I think this Orosit needs a little more apple. Hmm. And this Maror needs a little more... did this menorah get in the Passover box? Ah, I've told those children a hundred times not to get things mixed. Ah, there you are. <laughs> well, well, well. It's been a long time, my friend. <gasps> ah, now this is going to be a Passover to remember. <laughs> Up every one of Bubby's Passover glasses. Excuse us. Passover dishes coming through. Uh, I thought Anton was supposed to do that. Yeah. Um, what's so special about these Passover dishes anyway? They've never had any chametz on them. Ooh, yuck. I hope there's many on me. No, yeah. Chester. Chametz means baked things like bread. Yeah, and we're not supposed to eat anything like that during Passover because of what happened in Egypt long ago. We cleaned the whole house to make sure there was no chametz anywhere. Excuse us. My dishes to get. Wasn't Anton supposed to get the Passover dishes? Yeah, Bubby asked Anton to set the table. Oh, Anton told us to do it. Yeah, he's busy hanging the Passover decorations. Passover decorations? Beautiful. Now that's what I call art. Anton, what are you doing? What would a Passover Seder be without a picture of me hanging nearby? <laughs> a lot better. Yeah? What do you know about Passover anyway? I know that Passover celebrates freedom from people like you who try to make other people do their work. If you were such an expert, you'd be leading the Seder tonight. Hurry up, guys. I don't have all day. <laughs> More dishes. Children. Oh, hi, Bubby. I've got something special to show you. Oh, goody. What is it? It's a Haggadah. It was given to me by my Bubby. Oh. Mm. Then it must be like a thousand years old. <laughs> my friend. <laughs> what? Well, I think that with the help of this Haggadah, Zachary will do a fine job of leading tonight's Seder. <gasps> oh, 
I'd better tend to my matzo balls. But, but wait, Bubby, le lead. I can't lead a Seder, but... Sure you can, Zach. Mm. You know all about the Jewish holidays. Yeah, and this year I get to help ask the four questions about why this night is different from all other nights. I'll say it's gonna be different, real different. <sighs> Why, <gasps> thank you. Uh, that didn't just happen, did it? No, that book definitely didn't talk, did it, Zach? I think it did. Did you just say something? Certainly not. Books don't talk. Oh, forgive me. I have a good friend who's a joke book. <clears throat> but seriously, we do have some uh, important business to attend to, don't we? supposed to read you and learn about Passover yeah well as I say on page 28 behold do vado haya vadam lirot et atzmo kilu hu yatsa mimitz raim um I beg your pardon <laughs> that means that in each generation each of us must think of himself or herself as having personally left Egypt so let's get going g g going Go going where? Oh, I almost forgot. I wanted to introduce you to some of my Seder plate friends. Karpas the Parsley. Rish as ring. Haroset. Mortified. Next, the bitter herb, Maror. Ha cha 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 cha. My little egg friend, Beitza. Exactly. And Zroa the shank bone. Shanks a lot. You know how important olive ashar to the story of Passover, don't you? Well, uh, kind of. Yeah. Sure, uh, yeah, not exactly. Of well, course. Uh, yeah. Well, maybe. Try a little taste of my friend Maro here. Where? Why, right in your hand. <gasps> wow. Cool. Um, I tried the Maror once already. <laughs> <laughs> don't take so much this time, Chester. Oh, this is bitter. Yeah, really bitter. See, I told ya. Well, now maybe you'll know what it was like to be a slave in Egypt. Okay, everyone, come sit down at the table. It must have been terrible being a slave! All right, you Jews. No reclining on the job. The Pharaoh will be coming by today to do an inspection. Gonna be pretty bitter. Ha, cha, 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 cha. <laughs> what happened? Uh, well, where are we? We're in ancient Egypt, my friends. I think I like my family's satyrs better. Yeah. Don't be frightened, Chester. This is one adventure where we already know the ending, but it's up to you to get us there. That's okay. All we have to do is find Moses. He's the leader of the Jews. He'll know what to do. Oh, look! Oh, there he is! Moses, oh, man, look. you've returned. Welcome, oh, Moses. 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 Who are they talking to? You. You're Moses in this story. Me? Hey, the murder for these bricks looks just like me. Yuck, but it doesn't taste nearly as good. You two, get those bricks over to the pyramid at once. Oh. <laughs> Being a slave is awful. Stop that crying and get to work. Oh. <laughs> you see, your tears are like the salt water you dip me in at the Seder. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Now can we go home? <laughs> Whip it good. <laughs> what am I gonna do? I can't lead the children of Israel out of Egypt like Moses did. I'm just a kid. Search within yourself for strength, Zach. Remember, Moses didn't do it alone either. If the Jews aren't freed now, they might be slaves forever. And future generations may never know freedom.
But how can I be Moses? I don't have the most self-confidence of anyone I know. Suppose I cannot lead my people where they want to go. The Israelites are waiting to be led from slavery. You can sit here hesitating. Or go make history There are times in your life When you have to lend a hand To right an awful wrong You'll do all that you can There are times in your life When you have to make a stand Land. Okay, Haggadah, we'll go talk to Pharaoh. Uh, the new sphinx is good, but uh, the face is too small. See? You can't see it at all from this side. Make the face bigger. Yes, fearsome Pharaoh. Now run along and mistreat some Hebrews. Aye, aye, your pinkness. Pharaoh, you must let my people go. Says who? The Lord God of Israel. Nah, never heard of him. Now get lost, kid. I have important Pharaoh stuff to do. What do I do now? Warn him about the plagues. Who said that? Never mind. Just let my people go, or the Lord will smite Egypt with ten plagues. Ha! He couldn't smite his way out of a papyrus bag. <laughs> Don't say I didn't warn you. The Lord will now turn the waters of the Nile River to blood. Oh, the old defile the Nile trick, eh? Servant, bring me a glass of water from the Nile on the double. Ha! That's the dumbest threat I've ever heard. And to prove it, I'll drink this glass of cool, refreshing Nile blood right now. Blood? Ah! Now will you let my people go? Uh, sure, I'll let them go. To work for me. <laughs> then it's time for the second plague, the frogs. <laughs> Get these slimy creeps off me. <laughs> will you let my people go? <laughs> yes, I promise. Just get rid of the frogs. Frogs. Be gone! Ha uh ha! -huh. I had my fingers crossed! Then Egypt will be tormented by more plagues. Uh. Come on, Granny, push! What do you think this is? Summer camp? <laughs> yes! And it's time to play Kick the Counselor! Ah. Taskmaster! Teach the old lady some manners with 50 lashes. Gladly, Pharaoh. Ah! It's too early to be getting dark. Oh, it must be the end of the world! The Pharaoh forgot to pay the bill again! What's going on? It's your last warning, Pharaoh. Free the children of Israel, or the Lord will smite Egypt with the tenth plague. Ah! Plague Shmay! You think I'm scared of the dark? I'm the almighty Pharaoh. Nothing scares me. Pharaoh, I beg you, save your people from this horrible fate. Ah! What are you staring at? Get back to work, slaves. <laughs> so be it. There. Thank you very much, dear, for donating blood today. You're welcome. To save your oldest child, put this lamb's blood on your doorposts so at midnight the angel of death will pass over your homes. <gasps> oh, that's why they call it Passover. Yep, and that's why a lamb's bone like me is on the shader plate. Mm. And after you paint your doorposts, go inside and pack. Hurry! Oh. Oh. Moses.
Moses! My son, my oldest son is dead. I tried to warn you about the 10th plague. Every family in Egypt has lost its oldest son. It's terrible. Go. Take the children of Israel and go. I should have listened to you. Oh. Children of Israel, it is time to leave Egypt and return to the land of our ancestors as a free people. Uh, uh, we can't leave now. <sighs> I'm making bread and then dough needs time to rise. Muffin. If you let that dough rise, we'll never have matzah or matzah balls or matzah brai or anything. <gasps> oh, yeah. I almost forgot. Oh, I know. I'll carry it on my back and let the sun bake it. It'll be flat but delicious. <laughs> so, uh, where's your big sad brother taking us? Oh, to the promised land. <gasps> A land flowing with milk and honey. Oh, <laughs> sounds nice. A little sticky, maybe, but nice. <laughs> To freedom! Come on, boys! Oh, I don't have all day! You know, I never noticed how heavy these things were. Yeah. Oh. Boy, this was easier when the Hebrews did it. You know, I never should have let them go. Uh, uh, too bad we can't bring them back. Hey, why can't we? Uh, yeah, why can't we? Uh, yeah, why can't... Uh, mm. If we hurry, we can trap them on the shore of the Red Sea and bring them back. Let's go! Uh, yeah, let's go uh, I mean, uh, Moses, Pharaoh and his soldiers, they're coming! What do we do? Have faith, Zack. You'll know what to do. Agata, don't do this to me. I can't remember what the Jews do next. Agata, this isn't funny. Ha-ha! <laughs> there they are, trapped! I'm brilliant! Brilliant! <laughs> brilliant, yeah, brilliant. And heavy. <laughs> no Moses, what gives? Save us! Do Whoa. something! Uh, why are we just standing here? Because I can't remember this part of the story. <gasps> this part, that's it. Now God will part the Red Sea and we will walk through on dry ground. Oh, <laughs> sure <laughs> we will. Oh, you go first, no Moshe! Sure. Anyone yeah. got a life jacket? Weren't we just in Egypt? Anton, you're supposed to be in the Red Sea, and we were slaves Pharaoh in Egypt, kept changing and he his pushed these dead rocks, rocks, and, and he came after us, and then we crossed the Red Sea, and then these ten legs, and... and, 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 and <laughs> well, it certainly looks like you children have been experiencing the Passover story as though you personally left Egypt. Isn't that nice? Now, let's continue the Seder. Continue it? But we haven't even started it yet. We've been having a magical adventure. Yeah. Well, of course, dear. That's what a Seder is. A magical adventure. And with the help of our Haggadahs, we've already done a lot of it. We drank cups of wine.
and washed our hands. We dipped parsley in the salt water. And broke the middle matzah. And hid the afikoman. And told the story of the exodus. And Muffin, you helped ask the four questions. out of our second cup of wine in sympathy for the Egyptians who suffered from the ten plagues. And then we started singing Dayenu. But, Bubby, your Haggadah really talked to us. Ha! Sure it did, kid. I suppose the shank bone talked to you, too. Why, I did say a few words, yes. Who said that? Okay, everyone. Please open your Haggadot again. There you are. How could you leave me at the Red Sea like that? I knew you'd come through, but you had to find out for yourself. Yeah, I found out I could be a leader. Well, Zach, are you ready to lead the rest of the Seder? Yes, Bubby, I'm ready now. Let's finish singing Dayenu, everybody. Amen. Okay, everyone, you can eat your matzah now. Amen. It's time for the festival meal. Oh, goody. <laughs> hey, look, everybody. I found the Afi Komen. I win a prize. <laughs> oh, just the yes.
now our Seder is finished, each custom and law fulfilled. As we have celebrated the festival tonight, so may we celebrate again in the years to come. La Shana Haba'ab Yerushalayim, next year in Jerusalem. Well, my dear friend, you certainly gave us all a wonderful adventure this year. Sing the four questions with us. Music. 